We're gonna take a look at some of Jeff Beck's whammy bar techniques. The first one is called the scoop. Now here's the scoop. So let's just talk about what I just did there. The whole idea of a scoop, just like in vocals, is to go under the note and then up in it. So you basically start flat and you go up and stop at the pitch. But you want to make sure that it's a grace note. So a grace note is a note that doesn't have its own rhythmic value. If you use rhythm with it, then you're basically just using a bend. Here's an example of using it rhythmically. So I went P, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Those could be like eighth notes. Ta, ka, 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 ka. But if I use it as scoops, as grace notes, I'm just playing a line, right? I can just play an arpeggio, like. And when I add a scoop to one of those notes, it doesn't change the rhythm. I can add a scoop to everything. So I basically pick in time, but exactly as I'm picking, I'm putting downwards pressure on the whammy bar with these fingers, and then I release it but it needs to be in time. So the best way to practice this is maybe play a melody you know, like take You Are My Sunshine. And just add a scoop to the first note. Or to whatever note in the melody. If you do it a lot, it sounds kind of like Steve Vai-ish, but if you do it some, then it sounds really good and adds this expressive element. Jeff Beck is a master of it, so he's able to do a lot with that, just to color what otherwise would be normal stuff, like a minor pentatonic. Right? If you just use it twice in a descending scale, it adds this life to it. I'm just gonna play an arpeggio now, like a G minor seven. Here it is with some scoops. Now, something that I really like is what I call the Jeff Beck maneuver. It's basically something he does either on a dominant chord or a minor chord. So if I play a descending dominant chord from the flatted seventh, but I add this thing, or on minor. So what did I do? I started with a scoop on the flatted seventh, pulled off to the fifth, and bent the bar down. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly a half step down from the fifth. There's a really juicy range of out of tune goodness there. So a lot of the things, if you can really hear them in your mind, work. But the last part that's really cool is that I add another scoop on the way up to the third. So I already have the bar pressed down to get down from the fifth. So the first bend is in time, but that release of the third is a scoop. So it's scoop, bend, scoop, note. Minor. So, point, pa, ha, point, a. That's the pattern. So I'm picking the note and scooping, pulling off, bending, now releasing the bar as I scoop to another note that I'm picking, and playing the last note with my thumb. That's the idea. That's a super colorful technique. You can add it to your blues lines. Like let's say I'm playing a 12 bar blues in G. I can play it over the G. Now I get to my four chord and in the key of G, it's gonna be a C7. Just moving it to this E-shaped cowboy chord position for the four chord. Back. My five chord's right here, D. 
see, and back home. When you're playing on the one chord of a blues, you can use both the minor and the major. So a lot of cool tricks are available there. Again, you can press that fifth down to various notes that are microtonal and they all work. See if I just do it very slightly or dramatically. So a lot of juice in that fifth area. If you want to dive deeper into Jeff Beck's techniques and styles, I wrote an entire book called the Jeff Beck Guitar Style Book. It's out now on Amazon through Fundamental Changes, and it's very good. There are tons of examples there accompanied by tab and video, so be sure to check it out. I go into all of his techniques in depth.